Alrighty, so it's time for a bit of a life update. So in a previous video I mentioned that I finally graduated college with my aerospace engineering degree. And before I graduated I was looking for a job and even after I graduated I was still looking for a job. And then I finally found one and it has something to do with this. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket. Now passing Mach 1, Delta IV is now supersonic. So now that I have that job, I'm living on the Space Coast. So I have a whole area of Florida that I still got to explore. And today I'm renting with a new place called Spaceport Aviation. And I'm going to be flying in the beautiful Cessna 150. For my first flight around here, I wanted to do something special and kind of check off something off my bucket list. And that is fly over the Space Shuttle Landing Facility. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go have some fun. Cessna 80 Papa Papa over here at Spaceport Aviation with information Victor will be departing VFR to the northwest. Cessna 80 Papa Papa Space Coast Ground runway 18 at Echo Taxi via Delta Charlie Echo. Cessna 80 Papa Papa holding short of runway 18 at Alpha 1, ready for our departure to the northwest. Cessna 80 Papa Papa Space Coast Tower, runway 18 Alpha 1, clear takeoff, right turn, northwest approved. Runway 18, the clear for takeoff, the right turn, northwest approved, 80 Papa Papa. Let's go have some fun, let's go have some fun. Flying to the NASA shuttle landing strip is one of the coolest and easiest flights you can do as a pilot in Florida. The facility has a tower that's usually only open during weekdays, and they'll most likely let you come in for a low approach to see what it was like for the astronauts in the space shuttle. And since this was a Saturday, I called Orlando approach just to be extra sure that the restricted area was cold and I was free to cross the Indian River. Orlando approach, that's an 80 Papa Papa. Okay. Yes, Orlando Approach, I'd just like to check if restricted area 2934 is hot or cold today for a low approach at uh, the shuttle landing facility. Yeah, 2934 is cold no. and uh, the tower is closed, it's not open on the weekend, so advise the frequency is 128.55. Alright, 128.55, thanks so much, A0 Papa Papa. It's a quick flight over the Indian River and then you're flying over beautiful Florida landscape. Just head towards the NASA Vehicle Assembly Building and you won't miss the huge 15,000 foot runway. One of the longest runways in the world, uh, 15,000 feet, almost three miles. And uh, we're gonna see how long it takes for us to do the entire thing. Coming up to the shuttle runway was honestly surreal. 
I imagined what it was like to fall through the atmosphere and glide like a rock down to the runway. This is a special opportunity that I'm so glad that pilots can still take advantage of. If you can, you absolutely have to do this flight. You won't regret it. Oh man, look at this big, beautiful runway. Oh, and you can see the shuttle mock up over there. Check that out. We're at about 100 feet right now. It's going 100 knots. And it's taken forever to get past this runway. Look at the shuttle. Oh, man. from the other side. And clear right. Now we'll turn around so you can see the shuttle from the other side. Oh man, look at the assembly building right there. Awesome. I wonder if that, yeah, that must just be a shuttle mock-up. It doesn't have, I don't think it has any engines. Or maybe it does. But it looks like they got an AC unit hooked up to it. Here we are at 140 feet. Bye shuttle. Little crab. Bye tower. Dang, man. That is so awesome. Yeah, that's so cool. Space Coast, very interesting place to live, that is for sure. A lot of uh, amazing things going on around here and a lot of kind of weird things going on around here. After pretending I'm an astronaut, I decided to go check out Arthur Dunn Air Park, home of the 18,000 foot skydives. They have a short 2,900 foot runway and an awesome King Air C90 as their jump plane. Arthur Dunn traffic, sustain zero Papa Papa, turning left base for runway 15, Arthur Dunn. Well, good morning, A Zero Papa Papa. Hey, listen, the uh, Skydive plane just took off a couple minutes ago, so you'll have jumpers coming in. And we'll keep a close eye on out for those jumpers, A Zero Papa Papa. All right, Pop Pop, have a good flight. You as well, thanks. Have a good one. A little bit of a crosswind. A good bit of a crosswind, actually. Cessna 80, Papa Papa, departing runway 15 to the south. Arthur Dunn. Cessna 80, Papa Papa, approximately four miles northwest of the field, inbound uh, with Victor. We made a Papa Papa, I did observe, uh, report to the two mile final runway uh, 18. We'll report a two mile final for runway 180, Papa Papa. Space Coast Tower 80, Papa Papa, on our two mile final for runway 18. We made a Papa Papa, runway 18, clear land. Clear land, runway 180, Papa Papa. Papa, you can turn 
right on Echo Taxi Parking. And we'll turn right on Echo and Taxi to Parking. A zero Papa Papa. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to support the channel and you like the looks of the Florida Flying shirt, you can find some merch linked below. Until next time, blue skies and safe flights.